guys good in the back? One second. State Championship Post Game Press Conference. We're joined here with Oglesby High School head coach Jeff Dixon. Coach, uh, if you'll just start things off, your thoughts about the game this afternoon? Oh, I mean, to me, self inflicted wounds. Uh, I thought we kids played, got after it early, and then had a big penalty that stopped the drive down inside the five, and then ended up throwing the ball short for a pick, gave up a silly onside. I mean, you can't do that when you're playing good team. And so, you know, too many self inflicted wounds. Questions from the floor? No, talk about the, the final four minutes of the, of the first half. Uh, I mean, that's mean, that we're kind of all uh, I mean, for you. What's there to talk about? We got stopped. We made some blunders as far as just, you know, silly things. You can get a sophomore that's playing on the front line, come kick off, come up, touch the ball. He shouldn't be knows better. Just big game, big stage, and the kids are kids. I mean, this is the craziest profession in the world. We hinge our we hinge our daily lives on 15, 16, 17 year old kids. I mean, that's crazy. I mean, but, you know, I love them to death. And, you know, they'll, they'll be fine. And the kids are resilient. Things will move on. Coach, it's not the result you wanted, but being the first Oldsby team to make it to a UIL state championship, how are you going to look back at the season? Man, you know, our team uh, uh, in 2016 as a defense coordinator for Jonesboro, I don't even remember. And so going in, uh, my, some of my assistant coaches there, he, uh, he's played for one as an assistant as well. And we just told each other, we're going to enjoy this. And we have, uh, you know, our kids getting to showcase their talents at a, at a big stage like this and even in the semis and quarters. I mean, that's what you want as a coach. You're, you're trying to put kids first and, and take care of them and let them showcase themselves. And, you know, they've done that. Uh, win, or, win or lose, I mean, it, it doesn't define me as a coach. It doesn't define me as a person. Um, all that matters to me are those kids in there that are hurting, and uh, you know we'll get them, we'll hug them up, and, and get them ready to go again. Coach, how, how do you scheme to try to stop someone like Grayson Green? I mean, that, it, it's, it's not just about scheming. I mean, there's, it, it, I, I mean, Grayson's a great player. I'm not, I'm, he's a great player. But uh, you know, those, those Hayes boys are pretty good too. Yeah. That big number two, that center, pretty good player too. I mean, I'm sure I've had those split in. I mean, that kid go catch a ball. I mean, it, it'd be different if you're just scheming one kid. But, I mean, you're, that's a pretty good football team over there. I mean, they got more than just – I mean, he's good. I and mean, he may be the, the trigger man. But those other kids around him are really good as well. Coach, Keller uh, early on was making a lot of big plays for you guys. Do you feel like y'all might be able to match them in a big play? Big play, big play? You know, for us, we just – we knew we couldn't get stopped. I mean, that we, we, had, to, we had to go to school. And Kyler – I mean, he, he, he was early, he was he'd run the ball well, and, and, and he should. I mean, he, he's, a, he's a, man, that kid's a worker. But, uh, you know, I think we're, we're kind of got us, we got high you know, with the extra points and the, and the, uh, the possessions that we lost, and you know, that, that has to change your game. You know, early, we're lining up tight, just mastered it, you know, had a lot of success. Uh, get behind, things have to change in your play call because you're trying to catch back up. Um, so, you know, I mean, that's, I'll take the heat for all that. I mean, that kid played his tail off. Coach, what can you say about kind of the toughness that he showed today? I mean, he came out 
there. It looked like he was really hurt, but wanted to get back out there as soon as possible. I mean, what did he show for? Oh, I mean, he's that. He's been that way all year. That kid, and, and I'll be like all of them, man. Those kids, they're, they're they're tough. Like we pride that that's our motto in our program is TPW, tough people win, and uh, it's not just physically, but mentally, and, and, and you know the mental part we we struggled with a little bit today. But as far as physically, I thought those kids played tough. Uh, Kyler is a he's a beast. I mean. I guarantee you, you show up next week, or maybe not next week, but after Christmas, and he'll be right back in the weight room working, and he'll be getting ready for another season. I mean, he's a, he's a, he's just that type of kid. I mean, you know, to come as far as we did, you know, we battled injury all year. You know, I mean, I got what I think, in my opinion, one of the better defensive players in the state. You know, I lost in week three with the tour ACL. I mean, how do you replace 6'3", 195, runs a 4'6"? I mean, He's a heck of a football player. And so that hurt us early. We, Johnny Gomez has had a play, he's been playing with grade two, grade two AC separation since May. I mean, those don't heal. Uh, you know, Kyler's had bum. We, we, he's been wrapped and taped every day. We go play. Landon's got a bum ankle. I mean, those kids have been tough all year and played, played their guts out. Like, I couldn't be prouder as a coach of, of, of that group of kids. Coach, uh, going back to that end of the first half where um, today was a game that had a lot of instant Ripley. And what were your thoughts on the, the Ripley interception where it kind of looked on replay on the Jumbotron that the ball might have moved so? I'll be honest, I didn't see it. I didn't even watch the replay. Uh, I, I, I didn't see it. I, that's one that I'll go back and watch, I'm sure. But I, I did not. I didn't pay attention to it. So I really can't comment. I mean, my kid told me he thought the ball was underneath him. I didn't. I didn't see it, so I can't really expect it. I don't have to just tell you what my kids said. Coach, you're going to retain a lot of this team for next year, so going in a deep playoff run, how are you going to take this season and use it for next year? Oh, yeah, I mean, and that's, you know, I've, I've been at Ogles before four years now, um, and uh, the, the first year, you know, we had a good run, we went 10 and 1. The second year, we went, you know, like 9 and 3, got beat by three eventual, maybe not UIL, but state champions in their own rights. Um, you know, the third year, Got, got beat both, we got beat in the semifinals, and you know, here we are again. So, you know, we, we try to use every experience that we're a part of as far as in the playoffs and, and, and try to grow that. And, uh, you know, like, you know, I was telling the boys out there when we got through, you know, run it back. You guys are coming back, let's run it back. So, uh, you know, I, we have a, a great core of kids coming back. We have some young guys that step up and play. And so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with, with, I'm happy with Oakley High School football, I can tell you that. This room will be closing after this press conference. We won't have a formal press conference for game three and be on the field. So if you have stuff in here, this will be locked, so grab your stuff before. I know. I don't want to play Join here with Benjamin High School head coach Nathan Hayes. Coach, if you introduce your two student athletes. Yes, sir. I've got Grayson Rickman here, and then I got Tyler Hayes in the end. Coach, just your initial thoughts about the victory this afternoon. Just, just a great team win for my kids. Very unselfish play for my kids. Uh, Owen will be a great football team. Uh, they get the punches back and forth. Both teams are battling early on. Uh, our, you know, ups and downs, momentum, and calls here and there, but our kids never sway. They, they stay the task. Uh, we told them to finish the job, and I thought the kids played really well today. Uh, just a great team effort. Questions from the floor. Coach, can you talk about a game like today that had numerous instant replays and, and how hard it was to, to kind of get into a rhythm and, and how you thought your kids responded to that? 
officials have no part in the game. But I, I do think with the review, it's totally different from what we're used to. And a lot of times they make them call bang, bang, and you go right back to it. But then you got to sit and ponder on some of that stuff. And, you know, early in the game, we were we were over over three challenges, I think, which, you know, kind of hurt us. We thought, we, we thought the call should have gone our way a little bit. But, uh, I, again, we, we preach it, and uh, I think our kids stayed the task. They, they didn't sway. They, no matter what happened, what the call was, they didn't stay focused. Talk about defense stuff up there in the first half. Yes. I, uh, on that note there, I, I want to give a hat off to our defense, our coaches, defense, our coaching staff in general, uh, Coach Rigdon, Coach um, uh, Moffitt, Coach Keener, and Coach Hayes. And uh, they just all do a great job for kids. Uh, last two weeks, our defense have really uh, picked up the pace on defense, I want to say. Uh, uh, you go to Klondike last week, and I know we didn't play Klondike tonight, but that was a very, very good football team. Put up a lot of points all year. We held them to four. We come in tonight, I'm going to say, oh, we'll be averaging 45 points almost everybody all year long, except for maybe a couple of teams. Uh, they got up on us early a little bit, but then I think the defense, uh, you know, again, we didn't break so a couple of times. So I thought they really, really did a great job. Got some big turnovers for us. Uh, all year long, we've got to done that. To the back. Uh, kind of an open-ended question for anyone to answer. I mean, it's hard enough to go to one state title game and win it. Going back to back is even harder. Can I talk about how that feels and how good it is to, to kind of win you? It's good. I'm not that very emotional guy. I promise tonight I'm going to be tearing up and crying. This is how this takes me. Uh, I think for the coach staff in general, we have to, we're just, we're just up so much right now, it'll take too much to sit in. We've had that target on our back all year long. We've had people call us out for all types of things all year long. So like, yeah, just, 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 just us, you know, and, and, and so I felt like our kids, we, we embraced that. We embraced the challenge and everybody kind of calling us out a little bit. We, we, we know we had team practice 365 days for our day. So they, they, they had that route. They could just pick on us. And so uh, we, I didn't feel like we had the luxury because I know we didn't do it. I know the coaches did that every week. It was week to week. We're battling here. And uh, I didn't think our kids stayed focused. Uh, the, even though they had that target back to back, it's really hard to do. Uh, injury bug didn't get this year. That was great. But number important, each one of these guys played for the man beside them. Uh, I guarantee they made each other, each other better every night. That was, that was our goal, and I know they did that. Uh, our, our scout team, uh, excellent work from them. They're never going to get the glory. I know that happens at every school in the state of Texas, but guys, we, we were with 17. We had two kickers. We were down to 15. There were days we had 12, 11 guys just over, over record stuff. And they never cried, they never complained. They did their job in their part. So proud of everybody. Coach, Hick Kroll, you did it with Tristan and Skyler. Now you got Talon, Keegan, winning these state championships with your boys. Uh, I imagine that never gets old. How special is that to, to now win two with these, with these two kids? It means everything to us. It really does. It means so much for my kids. My, me personally, I, I'm never really that person, but it means so much for me personally that my kids got to experience that together. That was a big, that was a big thing coming back this year and wanting to repeat so my kids get that experience. And Talon, for you, uh, I, I know Skyler, Skyler and Keegan, they, they can't, they don't, they don't want to, uh, they, Skyler and, and Tristan don't want up you anymore. Y'all you, both, everybody has two now. How, how, how big was that to get your second one here with, here with Benjamin and your dad? It's going to help me a lot around the house. <laughs> it's just good. Good to be tired, I guess. I want to be up one. Grayson, this is, you set a record today for most time, touchdowns in a title game uh, overall over a career. What's that mean to you, you know, now that you've got, personally three titles and, and I think you're up to four MVP awards. Um, I just want to thank my linemen for it all and you know thank my teammates who helped scout team all of them, all the coaches who believed in me and helped me a lot and most importantly my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You know did, did early on Fawcett kind of come right there with you kind of going back and forth did that kind of spark you on? No uh, we knew they were going to come out pretty hard and you know we just knew that after a while, we were just going to strike them, and they were done after. And with West Texas, I mean, small town, six man, it's kind of known for it. So I mean, to be kind of the top of six man, once again, I, I like that. We, we like that target on our back. I mean, I, I tell you enough, though, I, I, all our kids work hard. Even very, you very humble right there. Kid works to tell off, works hard. Kid on the end works to tell off. Our whole team works to tell off. This was not easy for us. We brought back. Bragging on my kids, not not enough, believe me. It's on our kids. We brought back two starters, two starters off our team from last year. We had a lot of people come in and fill some big holes for us. I understand people thought we could do it, but did, did we really? I mean, yeah, we, we wanted to do it. We believed in ourselves. 
there were a lot of work, a lot of people who wasn't on that team didn't even touch the field last year that stepped up to play big time minutes for us. Well, uh, we had we had our left end, left end never touched the field last year. He was a freshman, big old kid, number four, 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 large. He just the kid never the kid never touch, touches uh, catches a touchdown pass or does anything. He will never complain. I have not heard him complain in 15 ball games. All he wants to do is do what best for his teammates. It's it's just amazing feeling to have that, that kind of uh, teamwork going on. Coach, I see in the history of the UIL six-man championship over 50 years, there's been only one team that has gone four in a row winning state championships. You ready for a three-peat? Well, uh, what do you think, boys? Let's enjoy this one first. <laughs> <laughs> Let's enjoy it. You know, uh, Ask you tomorrow? <laughs> yes, yes, we would love that. We would, y'all. How cool is this to win on the same day as your, as your old rival, Mike Reed? <laughs> uh, he might go back. I tell you what, though, if you, if you go back and watch the films from his game and our thing, there were a lot of the same calls, a lot of plays offensively of the same. Me and Mike uh, talked a lot back and forth on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, uh, you know, he real fast, give a, give a big hand out to him. He helped me a lot in my success and everything I had. I've, I've been blessed with kids that, that do whatever we ask them to do to work their tail off. So all these championships are based on the kids, but uh, uh, me, me and Mike go way back, and I never said a thank you to him for everything he's helped us with. Coach, talk about Grace's I'm sorry, sir. Would you talk about Mr. Rickman's play, please? It's uh, it's pretty unbelievable. You know, early in, early in a playoff game, we're not calling nobody out. Uh, uh, we, we had a coach say it must be nice to, uh, to, uh, to pitch the ball back in, let it do the thing. And I, I don't know about us that not one time in practice do we ever say, hey, this is your grace, let's take the ball and go score. Because there's there, there five people blocking on every play, there are people running routes on every play, and everybody's working together. Yeah, Grayson is an unbelievable athlete, but there, there's teammates around him. Now, go back to Grayson. He, he, he works a tell off. I've, I've never seen a team put in the, the time and words and dedication he does. That's who makes Grayson Reagan who he is. Uh, he's very humble, but uh, he's worth work ethic. He, uh, I don't know how many times he carried the ball tonight. Do anybody know? Did, 20? Uh, and, and he, you know, and, uh, and, and that, and that scheme or plan, we just do it what worked for us. Uh, we, we, we have a playbook about this thick. And then uh, we hope on Friday night that we can run about something like this here. And that's what's been working for us. We just stay with that there. But, uh, you know, Grace put a lot of time to work. And, to, you know, and I think, I think that's, that's rolling over to our younger kids seeing that there. And I think it's a great thing. Talk about him running and, and, and passing. But how about the catch at the end of the first half to play of the game? What do you remember about that play? Is? Oh, you know, I thought, I thought Keegan had gone down. And I just see a ball in there. And, you know, I had to get it. I had to get it on the board. <laughs> Our first two ball games of the year, uh, we were struggling against Fallout and McLean. I wouldn't say struggling, but we, we called it a little offensive set, Wildcat. So we, we matched and protect with four. We sit and grace that wide, and we just do the ball for him for, for our first two ball games. He probably had uh, 14 touchdowns in two ball games just receiving. So we were just taking two, just putting them out, and him running routes, and the kid running great route, kicking throwing football, we were matching protecting with our line. And so we hadn't been ran that all year. We've just been gone. We, we held it in our back pocket. Uh, we're big, we're big on, on a play that might work efficiently enough, so we hadn't had to pull it out in a while, but it had the right time to do it. What, what was going through your mind as you see him juggling the ball? <laughs> stay in bounds, just stay in bounds. I thought about it stepped out. It was hard to tell where we were at. You know, we had we had a we had a bubble snap on the snap. Uh, we were supposed to block with four, and our, and our talent said he so we almost got hit. We almost got sacked. We shouldn't even got to us. He wanted to dive in the football because it was on the ground just to protect it. Uh, King picked it up and stepped in the pocket. The last time he stepped in the pocket, because I told him to, he got lit up and fumbled the football, so he told me he was never going to do that again. But he stepped in the pocket, made a good throw. This guy made a great catch, bobbled it. That was just a great catch, a great play. Two for halftime, that's the two, two score different right there. Did we get it? Hey, Chase. Uh, tell me what it means. There's a lot of people that are watching, thanks to the UIL battles, getting to watch six man football, maybe for the first time. What it means for you and, and you players as well. Uh, to get this experience that the UIL and Valleys get to provide, to get the experience to play this place, win a state championship, and to get the experience that the 11 man guys have got. But it's great exposure for these kids to be on the television screen like this area. You know, a long time ago, we never would have got that. And people can say, oh, why don't you just play in Avalanche? No, you want to come to Jerry World, you want to play here. It's on the big show, it's fun, the replays are fun, either here or there. It's fun to be in this environment. Uh, it's great to spread the game. 
Uh, you know, we would play 11 men if we had enough people, but we just got enough for six men. So it ain't, like, it, ain't like, it ain't like we don't work hard. It ain't like we don't do stuff right. It ain't like uh, 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 our kids don't want to play football. This is football. It's not, it, you know, missing five people. They're just as good. Give them a shot. They can make they can make it happen on the big field, too. But uh, I think it's great for you know, television, go back and watch it down the road, show the kids that are on TV. But to be at Jerry World, this is where you, want, this is where, this is where you start to see now where you want to be at. Uh, you know, me and Coach and our, our coaching staff, we, we, we have a lot of pressure on us, we, we feel like, because we're here to win. I mean, we're here to build these kids, we're here to grow these kids, we're here to make them better men. But we know we're nowhere here to win. Our, our job is that way. So it, it's great to have the success with these kids. One more question. Uh, nope. This is probably the closest, one of the biggest back and forth teams you've had all year, pretty much. I mean, have not to worry about that back and forth, but how far are you that your guys responded and we're still able to pull it out? I, I will go back. Uh, we played Newcastle, and then it was, it, was, it, was, it was back and forth. It was 112 to 84. So uh, it, was, it was back and forth for a while. And uh, so we, I think, I, I know, I know those games, playing Jaden, playing Klondike, prepared for tonight. And I'm not, I, I don't, over the great football team, had a tough route. But if you go through what we had to go through to get here, I, I want to say we played number two, number three, number four. Number five team, I don't know. Newcastle should be like up there in the top five too. We had a tough road to get here and our kids responded every night. Thank you, Coach. Thank you guys. I appreciate it all. Okay.